What's up homestead homies? Off here with Doug and Stacy, and I'm Doug. Sometimes on the homestead, some things that you do are a fail. And today we're addressing one of those fails that we had on our homestead. Most of you guys know that you followed our channel, know that we collect rainwater off of the roof of our big barn into a 3,000 gallon system. It's two 1,500 gallon tanks, and we gravity feed that into our log cabin. We've had a pretty good success uh, with the stove that we put in here. We basically took a barrel and made it into a barrel stove, and we did pretty good with that for a couple years. Last year, though, we really got put to the test. The temperatures were at zero, negative temperatures for quite a while, and it, we just couldn't keep up with the heat. We had the stove going. Another thing I didn't like about the stove is that you have to wake up in the middle of the night and throw some logs in there, or you stuff it up so much just so you can sleep through the night that it kind of smolders more than it actually is warming up the space. The other problem that we have here, there's a lot of gaps and a lot of you know, areas for heat to escape. So whatever heat we did trap in here through the steel and the other gaps and grooves and everything we have going on here. So the plan is I'm gonna take out the pipe from the stove, I'm gonna cover that hole up, and we're actually gonna call in a foam guy who's gonna spray foam the whole room and give us an airtight seal. That way we could heat this room with a candle. So let's get started.
to tell them the turkey story, Mr. Turkey? Leave a comment below if you want to hear the turkey story. Having a hen party. We having a hen party in the sheep house. There's our little cochins. So cute. Yeah, they're just hanging out in the sheep house. Of course, that's where he's going. Wow, this is fantastic. Now I have my own water cave. I am fairly confident that this is gonna solve the issues that we had last winter. We had propane heaters in here. I was running the stove for a while. Uh, then we had uh, kerosene in here as well because all the heat was just escaping. We had a lot of gaps and it was just tin. Now it's airtight and we're gonna keep an eye on it this winter, so stick around on the channel We'll give you some updates on how this is performing when we get down to the zeros and we're gonna see, did it really make a difference? Was it really worth the price? As always, thanks for watching our videos. Um, if you got any questions, leave them down below and don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you're new to our channel. We live in the Midwest in a log cabin and we actually have this gravity fed water system uh, that goes down to our log cabin and comes right out of the sink. It's rain capture, 3,000 gallons. So thanks for stopping by the video and we'll see you guys on the next one. Hey guys, thanks for watching our video. You might want to check out these videos. And if you want to become a homestead homie, click the picture of us below. We, we will see, see you tomorrow. tomorrow.